October 8th, Coming to Jesus. Come to me, Matthew 11, verse 28. Isn't it humiliating to be told that we must come to Jesus? Think of the things about which we will not come to Jesus. If you want to know how real you are, test yourself by these words, Come to me. In every dimension in which you are not real, you will argue or evade the issue altogether rather than come. You will go through sorrow rather than come, and you will do anything rather than come the last lap of the race of seemingly unspeakable foolishness and say, Just as I am, I come. As long as you have even the least bit of spiritual disrespect, it will always reveal itself in the fact that you are expecting God to tell you to do something very big, and yet all he is telling you to do is come. Come to me. When you hear those words, you will know that something must happen in you before you can come. The Holy Spirit will show you what you have to do, and it will involve anything that will uproot whatever is preventing you from getting through to Jesus. And you will never get any further until you are willing to do that very thing. The Holy Spirit will search out that one immovable stronghold within you, but he cannot budge it unless you are willing to let him do so. How often have you come to God with your requests and gone away thinking, I really received what I wanted this time, and yet you go away with nothing, while all the time God has stood with his hands outstretched, not only to take you, but also for you to take him. Just think of the invincible, unconquerable, and untiring patience of Jesus, who lovingly says, Come to me.